Dude, that thing is scary as what the frick. This video is sponsored by LD Player. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace and this is a Jaeger Hunter Legend video. This is certainly going to be a first impressions, a first playthrough, kind of having a look at whether this game is kind of worth picking up or not. And whether it's worth picking up or not, at least we can say we had fun in most cases. Uh, yeah. And so without further ado, let's get into the game itself. However, if I could summarize this game, Jaeger Hunter Legend, in one sentence, it'd be Monster Hunter, but on mobile. I, I hope there's no Monster Hunter on mobile yet, because that'd be really freaking weird. All right, enough stalling. Let's get into the game. This is kind of cool. Yo, this really does look like a Monster Hunter. <laughs> Jesus. All right. You know what? I'm a little bit keen. I am a little bit, a little bit keen now. All right, so we're finally in the game now. We've got a cutscene. It looks like everything is colored. My graphics do look a little bit low though. Hopefully I can crank that up later on. But the current vibes right now is, I don't know why, but it reminds me of Tower of Fantasy. All right, so we've got a camera view selection near or far. You guys let me know in the comments which ones you prefer because I know that I'm always a far type person. I really like being able to see everything. And so I'm gonna slam that, but you guys let me know what you like. Oh no. Where was the controls? Okay, so I'm using WASD to move around and then I can also shift the camera angle like this. Very much reminds me of an MMO or even PGR. I think PGR is like that. Lock button to lock on attack and then let's go slam him. Oh, yo, I'm an assassin. Okay, I can't dodge, but yo, okay. This is these, hold up. I've got settings over here. Always got to get in the settings worse, right boys? <laughs> oh wait, I'm freaking dying. Hold up, hold up. They can attack me when I'm paused. All right, man. These animations are it's quite decent. It's quite well produced, at, at least for now. Oh, dodge. Okay, I can't dodge. There is a dodge button. Oh, Lord. All right, uh, let's get to that waypoint thing over there. And then I'm going to try. I just want to get to my settings, man. <laughs> All right, not bad. Not bad. No waifus yet. I don't know if we're going to be getting a waifu here. I don't know if there are going to be waifus in this game. Are there waifus in Monster Hunter? Uh, yeah, admittedly, I think I've only played one of them. And that was a very long time ago. And it was a very little... Dude, that thing is scary as what the freak. All right, let's do it. Am I even doing damage to him? Oh, yeah, there we go. Dodge, dodge. Oh, dude, what the freak? I'm aerial. I'm aerial, boys. This is actually kind of crazy. All right, and then it looks like there's an alt or something over there. I'll freaking use it. Okay, I need to, I need to like keybind these or else it's going to be a little bit awkward, like having to click this all the time. Uh, I'm trying to use this. What does it do? Oh, God. Okay, I understand how you monster hunter players feel now. It's, or, or why you guys like this kind of game so much. It's, it's actually really cool. But geez, this thing, this thing is not a monster. This thing is freaking scary. What the? F I got a gun. <laughs> I got a freaking gun. Okay, I gotta say, the aiming system is a little bit awkward uh, on this phone type emulator kind of thing. Oh my lord. How do I dodge that? Yeah, I kind of wish that the screen rotated with your mouse. Very much like the lock screen in Peach. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll try to fix that. But hey, yo, this is... um. This is pretty epic, and I think that thing is probably the big bad. Mm, yeah, kind of scary, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, does this does this count as a waifu? <laughs> I think this is probably the closest we are gonna get. I, I think I should uh, lower my expectations. This is very much clearly like a Western style game. Hey, yo, you already know what time it is. It's time to become the waifu. Yo, some of these designs are not bad. Some of these. Can be an avatar? I do gotta say though, although we can't like customize the characters themselves, like adjust the eyes, the chins, the hair, etc., it's uh it's quite a diverse cast. However, I think this one is the clear winner easily. Or oh, maybe this one? Nah, this one. Let's go. Oh, okay, you know what? I take it back. We can actually customize a little bit. Oh my god, I take everything back. Holy crap, what the frick? Is this is this really a mobile phone game? Because my guys, that is an insane amount of customization. This is like this is like BDO level. This is some MMO level stuff, man. Unfortunately, in terms of the hairstyles, it looks like this is all we're going to have. However, we can actually select a hair color. Can I go like jet black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't really change anything, did it? <laughs> and then it looks like we have one more over here. This is, oh my lord, this is doing up the eyebrows. Holy crap. And the eyes, can we change the, oh my gosh. We can change the eye color as well. Color wheel to red. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is, um quite crazy holy crap okay i think that's enough for character customization i wonder if we can do the body type as well that'd be freaking crazy oh my lord look at that not bad if i may say so myself my guys all right my guys so it looks like i finally have free reign let me display the frame rate it looks like we might be locked at 30 fps i'm going to settings i'm gonna go look for the graphics 
Ultimate. Okay. High refresh rate. Hello. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Okay, so that's a little bit better. We got 40 FPS, sometimes going up to 42, but sometimes also dropping down to 34. This is a lot better than before. All right, so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six different types of weapons. We've got four star difficulties down to two stars. Mm, should I go for the easy one or should I go for the hard one? Uh, I'm gonna go for the sword. Nope, I freaking lied. I just found a scythe. All right, let's go with the scythe. <laughs> All right, here we go. It looks like we are finally in a match and we have a couple more skills. Okay. It's a, oh, it's a little bit choppy. I might, let me turn the settings down a little bit. Okay, so I turned on smooth mode, but it's still a little bit laggy. Hmm, I wonder if this is gonna have a PC client. All right, so we have uh, B to switch to the weapon mode. Where's my scythe? Hey, yo, I have a spear, but where's my scythe, man? Defeat slashes with hone spin, hold A. Oh, there we go. There's the scythe, baby. I got you, I got you. I see you, freak, that's freaking sick. Look at that. Whoa, my lord. D is for dash. D is for dash. All right, it looks like we might be able to do a hook. Oh, oh where are we off to? Hey, why am I killing a baby? <laughs> That's kind of weird, man. That's, look, it's just, okay. Okay. That's... That's unfortunate. <laughs> At least I'm not the one killing a baby now. Yo, scythe mode though. Scythe mode, kind of feeling a little slow. Not sure I'm a fan. Oh, okay, so I hold the attack button to change from sphere to scythe. Okay, that sounds fine. So if I hold this, bam, I'm in scythe mode. Oh, he's a toad, I see. And so my guys, let's take a quick break to talk about our sponsor, LD Player. LD Player is a fast, lightweight emulator that will serve all of your mobile gaming needs. Look, it's got all of the features that you would expect from an emulator, but the real juicer that I wanna talk about is this guy over here, which is the LD Store, because the game that we were just playing, Jaeger, it's actually in open beta, and I couldn't seem to find it in the App Store, so this was the alternative. I looked up Jaeger, and there it was. And then I just had to click install over here, and I was in the OBT. On top of that, LD Player and Jaeger have given me 10 redeem codes for 600 crystals and that is worth apparently about $300 reduce. And so if you are actually interested in this game and would like to enter the giveaway, then drop a comment down below with your Discord or Twitter tag or something that I can reach you with. And then I will do a random draw for the 10 winners. Thank you again to LD Player for sponsoring this video. And with that, let's get back to it. All right, so it looks like we can actually create weapons with Forge. Armor Beast, ooh, this will be cool. And so it looks like this is gonna be like the stat system we're using. We're using gear score over here and then strength and agility, equipment level up to five, all right. I kind of wanted to have like some armor though. Oh my, look at that. Okay, that is actually kind of cool. But I feel like I've played a game like this before. Dauntless, is that the name of it? And so I'm about to take off to another quest. However, before we go there, let's have a look at what is available. So we've got school, which I believe is the skill tree. So if I click into this, I can uh, I can switch up the weapon. And then clicking into these two, it looks like uh, there is a lot to unlock. There is actually quite a complex weapon system, a skill system in this. That's, that's really interesting. And we can actually select elements. What? Can, can you do that in Monster Hunter? And so in terms of some of the other stuff, let's have a look at this one. Equipment, forge equipment. Upgrade, it looks like we haven't unlocked yet, but that's probably going to come down the line. Retainer, I haven't unlocked it. Okay, I haven't really unlocked Oh, I see a red dot. I see mail. I see the good stuff. However, my guys, I think I forgot to mention something pretty big, and it's that this game is actually in open beta right now. So that's why we don't see any pre-registration or any of the really nice goodies. Hey, it's me. I'm the cool one. <laughs> I'm the protagonist. All right, time to kill. Where is he? Wait, is it just this one over here? Wait, it's so small. What the frick? That's what she said. Click, 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 click. Why is my camera? Uh, there, there are some issues with uh, how I'm playing right now. And it's that I don't think this game was, oh my Lord. You can see my camera is jumping into different places. It's really annoying actually. I, I need to figure out a better system. I can't, I can't deal with this. Like my camera is going everywhere. I I'm dashing, but it's not, it's kind of not good enough. I destroyed his head. If I destroyed his head, how's he still moving? What the, oh, okay. Yeah, poor thing is like just letting me kill him now. That's. This game is kind of sad. I feel like a hunter in real life. I feel like I'm killing a zebra. Kind of weird. I got a triple S for that. 
I got a triple S for that? <laughs> what the frick? Man, that bar must be low as hell because I'm pretty sure I should have gotten a fat C. So yeah, as for like the game progression itself, you can tell already, it's very much like a quest based thing. So I talk to somebody, I go and do their quest. I talk to somebody and then I go and do their quest. And that's the only way that I'm currently getting into the different maps. However, what I have been seeing is that up here, you can see Purgatory, Domain of Origin Easy. So you can probably go into like different dungeons with people, I suspect. Hey, yo, we got a couple of different players over here. How did this person not have a name? How does this... Hey, yo, where can I get that suit? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's not bad at all. You know what they say. If it moves, you simp. Cool. All right, I think he's going to give me the rest of the armor pieces. It's pretty sick. Let's see a, a fully kitted out armor set. Uh, oh, that's very, that's very monster looking. I don't know what I freaking expected. This game is monster... Oh, well, it's not Monster Hunter. It's Jaeger. It's Jaeger. This is Jaeger hunter legend and so my guys i want to make a couple of observations about this game and the first is that everything is rest is just as important as hard work everything as you just heard is actually voice acted so they must have a pretty big budget for this one in terms of the game and the textures and stuff you can see i am on the lowest quality but both on the lowest and on the highest quality i actually kind of like it obviously it definitely is more of like your 3d game uh T-Tiny? Did we play T-Tiny? I think it was like T-Tiny. And it very much does feel like your Monster Hunter game or like your Dauntless. It, it definitely reminds me of Dauntless, which is one game that I did play kind of extensively. In terms of the performance itself, like I really wish it was slightly more optimized. I just wish it was like slightly less clunky and a little bit more smooth. That's it. And that might just be like the limitations of an emulator. Maybe on mobile, this actually runs like a dream. And in terms of the combat, it's been pretty fun so far. I think it would be a better experience if I either figured out how to make this smooth on emulator or just played on phone. All right, yeah, and in terms of designs, I think they've nailed it. They've made me feel gross with every single one of these monsters. I am hoping later on we do get like a like a freaking dragon or something. That'd be freaking sick. But at this point, we're out here fighting bugs and other gross creatures. Playing this game definitely makes me feel like a monster hunter. So, I mean, I guess they've nailed that one, right? <laughs> it almost feels a little bit cruel, but I guess that's part of being a monster hunter, huh? All right, and so it looks like we've unlocked the enhancing system. I can uh, gain five physical attack. I mean, who wouldn't want five physical attack? Can I up these ones as well? I'll gain some HP with this one. I'll gain some HP and defense with that one. But yeah, I think I've played it enough to kind of get like a first impressions kind of point of view. And this is kind of where I'm at at the moment. Uh, if you do like Monster Hunter games, if you do like these kinds of like single player, almost action oriented, taking down big bosses kind of gameplay, I would recommend. However, there are a couple of things that I would like to see improved considering this is the open beta. So there is still time. And the first thing is to kind of like optimize it a little bit more. This, this 38 FPS, it doesn't really feel that great to play. Making the emulator experience even better, that's that's never, you can never go wrong with that. In terms of the art and the designs and stuff, I actually really like it because I was thinking that the armors and the weapons and stuff were looking a bit homogenous. But then I realized I was just looking at the male equivalent of myself. So I started looking around, I had to look at a couple of others and look at that. Look at this one over here. That is that is really freaking nice. And then let's have a look at this one. That's okay. And then this guy over here, it's actually really freaking... Oh, okay. Uh, it's really sick. Yeah. I think in terms of the vibe itself, it definitely works. It does feel a little bit bare bones, like this town kind of thing. But again, they do have time to work on it. So in terms of the gacha, I don't think there is one yet. I, c I can't see anything to roll for. Maybe eventually there'll be like either cosmetics or maybe you can roll for gear or something. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, but I do see a rankings over here and it looks like there are rankings for gear score. That's 25k gear score. I'm pretty sure I'm on like 800. It's kind of weird, man. Yeah, I mean, there is the existence of the premium currency, so it's got to be used for something, right? I've just not played it enough to notice. So yeah, from a first impressions point of view, I kind of like it. If I was like really into these games, I'd probably give it a little bit longer, but alas, me personally, I'm not. As well as the optimization issues on emulator and the controls where you saw my camera just like going crazy, I would say that this is definitely worth trying if you're looking for a monster hunter on the go. But otherwise, my guys, I think I am going to leave it there. And so it's probably a good time to ask you guys, are you guys monster hunter fans? And if so, or if not, will you be giving this game a shot? My guys, let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving a comment, well, thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell. As my monster armor clad looking character once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.